So a lot of you guys have been asking me questions about how to find the specializations of your field. So I get questions from like, you know, computer science engineers, electronics engineers, who are really confused about the different specializations available to them at a graduate school level, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys an easy method that you guys can use to find the different specializations that you can focus on in grad school, all right? Now, keep in mind that this may not be the most accurate method for all universities, all right? So the reason why is each university does things a little bit differently, okay? Let me give you an example. When I applied to my mechanical engineering program and I was looking for the, you know, the robotics specialization, I found that some universities had a robotics specialization, some universities had a robotics and control system specialization, some universities had a robotic specialization then a separate control system specialization and some universities did not have robotics at all it was just you know control control and mechanics or something like that okay so it does vary slightly across universities which is why the following method that I'm about to teach you you kind of want to repeat for say two to three universities in total right so once you look at the different specializations offered by say three universities you'll have a good idea of what's out there and what's available for you to choose from okay so without further ado let's get to the method all right, so here we are at the University of Pennsylvania's website, okay? So you can see the announcement, news, blah, blah, blah. We don't care about that. So we're going into academics and we're going to graduate. All right, so that brings us here, graduate and professional programs, all right? So now this is what we were looking for, A to Z listing of graduate programs. So most likely, whatever graduate program that you're interested in, it will be found here. So now this is gonna be the trend for generally the bigger universities that you go into because Penn is like a huge university. They have like tons and tons of programs the list are all like this, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find, let's say I'm gonna pick a random uh, specialization, then we're gonna go find, you know, sorry, I'm gonna pick a random stream, then we're gonna go find the specializations, okay? So I'm gonna go to E, and then we're gonna go into electronics, okay? So let's see if we can find electronics. You can't find electronics, I'm just gonna go into electrical engineering. Okay, so we have electrical engineering, and this is what we have, okay? So here's electronic engineering, some details about the thing. And then we have, okay, so EE core, select five required course units in any of the three areas below. So physical devices and nanosystems, circuits and computer engineering, information and decision systems, and then some more electives, all right? So now these are basically going to be your specializations that are gonna be available for you at the university, okay? Now we can do this again, we're gonna do this for something else. Let's go check out for mechanical engineering because that's my program. So we'll go to M. Then we're gonna go to MSc Mechanical Engineering. So here we're at the Mechanical Engineering Applied Mechanics course. Here we have curriculum, okay, so we need to take two math courses. Then some concentration core, okay. So what we're looking for is here we are. So this is the concentration core, which is the mechanical and robotic, mechatronic and robotic systems. So you can see there's a bunch of courses related to that. So this is one of the things that you can specialize in. Then we have micro and nano systems. So this is another thing you can specialize in. Then we have heat transfer fluid mechanics and energy science and engineering. This is another area that you can specialize in and mechanics and materials, again, one more area, design and manufacturing, one more area, and so on, okay? So you can see that all the specializations are given here. So you can see that if you click on this for more information link, that will bring you to another, it just gives you, it just brings you to the degrees uh, page, right? There you can learn more about the requirements and the handbook and the FAQ and the kind of careers you have afterwards. So really there's a ton of information. So I prefer Penn for this because they really give out a lot of detail when it comes to their uh, courses that I don't that I didn't really find in a lot of the other colleges, okay? So what you guys do is basically just go find your program. You can search for it here and they'll just, you know, shortlist the whole thing for you and find your program and then just figure out what kind of programs, this is a, this is a bachelor's degree program, figure out what kind of specializations they offer and then just go learn more about it. Now what you wanna do is you wanna repeat this procedure for I would say two more universities, okay? So you'd have like, you'd have done this for three total universities, okay? Now, I prefer doing this for three universities because again, three is a magical number. So if you go through, if you go to three universities, you'll have a good idea about the different specializations that different universities offer. You'll find in most cases that it's just in line. Most universities will just offer the same thing in different names. But yeah, you just be able to find out more about what's out there, okay? And that should help you sort of figure out what kind of specialization, you, specialization that you can explore and finally go into in your grad school program. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed for more college admissions guidance. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.